Travel Up is a travel blog that takes you around the world to explore the most beautiful destinations, unique stays, top adventures, and so much more. Follow along with us as we take you around the globe and help you plan amazing memories that will last a lifetime. There is an endless beauty in Canada, and even more adventures that are bound to scratch the adventure itch of even the most avid thrill seeker. We will take you through a list of the top 25 activities, experiences, and things to see inside this beautiful country. Some things you have probably heard of and some hidden gems you may have never known existed and hope we can inspire you to try something new. Number one, take a sledding ride in Whitehorse. Yukon is one of Canada's three territories. It is mountainous, full of wildlife, and sparsely populated. Temperatures in the winter can range anywhere from 13 degrees Celsius during the day to minus 40 degrees Celsius overnight, making it the perfect winter destination. Yukon's capital city, Whitehorse, is where you will have the most luck connecting with locals and tourist attractions. Many different companies offer dog sledding rides and tours. Before taking off on your sled, you will get the chance to meet and interact with the dogs and go through training with an experienced instructor. Most companies offer half-day and full-day tours, with the prices including your training, tour guide, and lunch. The average price of a full-day dog sledding tour is $325 to $350. Dog sledding is a great way to see the fantastic landscape the Yukon has to offer, exploring trails and terrain you couldn't get in a car, and trying something new. 2. Surf at Lawrencetown Beach When most people think of surfing, they imagine the coast of California or Australia. But you can try surfing at the Atlantic Ocean right off the coast of Nova Scotia. Nova Scotia is one of Canada's most eastern provinces, known for its amazing ocean scenery, tasty seafood, and high tides, which come in handy for surfing. Whether you're an experienced surfer or new to the sport, the Lawrencetown Beach has you covered. For experienced surfers, bring your own equipment along or rent what you need at one of the many surf shops along the way to the coast. For those who need some lessons, there are various surf schools that you can book classes, rent equipment, and be paired with a qualified and experienced instructor. 3. Ice Climb in the Rocky Mountains The Rocky Mountains stretch some 4,800 kilometers from British Columbia and Alberta in Canada and through multiple states in the U.S. They are full of national parks, wildlife, lakes, trails, and spectacular sights. Now, just visiting and experiencing the Rocky Mountains is already an adventure in its own. There is so much to see, it would take you an eternity to experience it all. However, if you are someone who needs a little bit more excitement in your life besides sightseeing, then ice climbing may be just for you. Ice climbing is roped and protected climbing on features such as frozen waterfalls and cliffs and rock slaps covered with ice from frozen flows of water. This isn't a sport you can just go out and try without any experience or guidance. It can be very dangerous and requires the proper training and equipment to execute safely. Luckily, there are companies within the national parks that offer great training and guided tours. The tours do run more expensive with the typical price being anywhere from $500 to $800 depending on how many people are in your group. Four. Watch the Northern Lights in Yellowknife. If there is one thing you must do in Canada, it would be this. Located in the heart of the Northwest Territories, Yellowknife has been known to be one of the best places in the world to see the Northern Lights. The Northern Lights are actually active all year round, but the best viewing experience will be between mid-November and the beginning of April. The summer months bring about 20 hours of daylight with no complete darkness and would make it much more challenging to see the lights. There are many companies that offer viewing tours and other Northern Lights experiences. However, you can also make your way to Yellowknife and view the lights free of charge. Five. Try the CN Tower Edgewalk in Toronto. Now this is the thing to do in Canada if you are a thrill seeker. The CN Tower Edgewalk is the world's highest full circle and hands-free walk. You are suspended along the edge of the tower's main pod at a staggering 1,168 feet above the ground, walking in a complete circle on a five-foot ledge. The Edgewalk has been known to be Toronto's most extreme attraction and is the first of its kind in Canada. The starting price for this attraction is $195. This includes a certificate of achievement, keepsake video, printed photos, and a ticket to re-enter the CN Tower. The ticket also provides you with access to the glass floor, lookout, and sky pod levels of the towers. 6. Visit the Ice Hotel in saint gabriel de valence cartier the Hotel de Glace is located in saint gabriel de valcartier Quebec, about three hours north of Montreal. Quebec is a primarily French-speaking province, with over 78% of the residents speaking as a first language or fluently. 
This hotel is one of the most unique stays in all of Canada and one of the most interesting things to do. It is almost completely sculpted from ice with very intricate and unique ice sculptures throughout the entire place. It never fails to amaze guests with its amazing architecture and design. The hotel offers many different experiences including a grand slide, ice bar, ice workshop, chapel and a spa and sauna. If you are not thrilled about the idea of sleeping in a literal ice box, the hotel also offers tours and access to some amenities for non-guests. 7. See the Polar Bears in Churchill Churchill is located on the Hudson Bay in the far north of Manitoba. Churchill is best known for the polar bears that inhabit the area year-round. It is one of the biggest polar bear denning areas in the entire world. The best time to see the bears would be during the autumn months between September to November during their migration when they're heading back to the Hudson Bay where the sea ice is reforming after the summer months. The safest way to see the polar bears is through guided tours. The climate and terrain can be very difficult to get through. And of course, having an unprepared run-in with a bear can be very dangerous. 8. Kiteboard on Malpeak Bay Malpeak Bay in Prince Edward Island is a world-renowned destination for kiteboarding due to the strong winds and shallow water. Although there is over 1,100 kilometers of PEI coast with more great spots to try the sport. The coast of PEI is covered with red sandstone cliffs, rolling farm fields and white sand beaches. There are endless activities to enjoy including golfing, kayaking, mini golf, camping, hiking, canoeing, deep sea fishing and so much more. But one thing you must try while visiting this scenic province is kiteboarding. Kiteboarding or kite surfing is classified as an extreme sport where your feet are harnessed into a board and you use the power of the wind to move the large power kite in order to be propelled across the water. It is a combination of wakeboarding, parasailing and surfing. 9. Hike the Fundy Trail Parkway in New Brunswick the Fundy Trail Parkway in New Brunswick is 30 kilometers long and has over 60 kilometers worth of hiking and biking trails. It has 21 hiking and biking trails, 7 beaches, 9 points of interest, 21 lookouts, 4 waterfalls, and 16 observation decks. Fundy Trail gives you panoramic views of the Bay of Fundy coastline that would be otherwise unaccessible. There are so many hikes to choose from with varying levels of length and difficulty for every level of hiker. No matter which you choose from, you will not be disappointed with the amazing scenery. If you're really up to a challenge and an experienced hiker, you can try the Fundy footpath, which stretches 61 kilometers and takes 4-5 to five days to complete. You can also choose to drive the parkway and make stops at some of the lookouts along the way. 10. Immerse yourself in the culture of Nunavut if there is one thing you should do in Canada, it is visit Nunavut. Nunavut is the largest and most sparse territory in Canada. It has also been home to the Inuit for over 4,000 years. There are four official languages of Nunavut, Inuktitut, English, French, and Inuyaktun. With 70% of the residents speaking Inuyaktuk as the first language, there is no higher connecting Nunavut to the rest of Canada. The only way to access the territory is by air or sea. The easiest way to commute between communities is by air, snowmobile or boat. Nunavut is home to the northernmost permanently inhabited place in the entire world. There are more artists per capita in Nunavut than anywhere else in Canada. In traditional Inuit culture, Sharing is a deep-rooted social value. The friendly residents of Nunavut are excited to share the customs of their culture, including arts, beliefs, hunting and trapping, family traditions, holidays, and overall way of life, living in extreme winter climates. 11. Bungee Jumping in Nanaimo Another one for the thrill seekers. If you've ever tried bungee jumping before, now is your chance. Nanaimo, British Columbia offers an exciting bungee jump experience for prices starting at $139.99. This experience allows you to go solo or with a friend. The drop is from 150 feet where you dive head first from a steel bridge towards the Nanaimo River, securely fastened by elastic ropes around your ankles. You can choose from 16 different styles of bungee jump in 6 different levels of difficulty. It is an extreme adrenaline rush for even the most avid thrill seekers. 12. Attend the Grossmorn Theatre Festival in Cowhead. The Grossmorn Theatre Festival is held in Cowhead, Newfoundland from May to September. It hosts a variety of high quality performing arts every night of the week. The price is only a maximum of $35 for any performances you attend. 
The Grossmont Theatre is about preserving the rich history of Newfoundland and Canada through well-told stories. It has a dinner theatre, main stage, and hosts youth theatre as well. If you are new to the performing arts or greatly immersed in them, this is a great place for you. It has been rated the number one thing to do in Cowhead and even won the Traveler's Choice Award. 13. Visit the Western Development Museum in Saskatoon. The Western Development Museum is the largest human history museum in Saskatchewan and has a collection of over 80,000 artifacts. Visiting the museum has been rated the number one thing to do in Saskatchewan. The collections displayed in the museum represent the cultural, industrial, and agricultural history and the evolution of Western Canada from the settlement period circa 1870s to present day. The museum hosts exhibits outdoors, indoors, and virtually. They also have temporary exhibits they showcase based on the season. The museum provides many other amenities and attractions as well as restaurants, cafes, interactive activities for children, learn at home studies, and resources for teachers. 14. Explore a cave in Canmore. This is probably something most have never tried before. Canmore Cave Tours offer different cave exploration adventures into some of the most memorable sites in Canmore. They provide you with all your safety equipment, clothing, training material, and you are with a trained professional at all times. They have been operating for over 25 years and are the highest recommended for cave tours when it comes to all aspects of safety and fun. The tours vary in duration, with the time being split in areas above ground and areas completely underground with free time to roam and explore the cave. 15. Visit a maple farm in Quebec. Did you know that Quebec produces 90% of all maple syrup in Canada and accounts for about 92% of all maple syrup exported? There are over 4,700 maple farms in Quebec. With a number that high, you have many options on sugar shacks that you can visit. The best time of the year to get the full maple syrup experience would be in March or April, which is the time when maple syrup is generally harvested. You can learn all about the harvesting process for sap, how sap is turned into maple syrup, and have some tasty maple treats. 16. Go whale watching in Victoria. Whale watching is a great leisure activity for all those who still want to enjoy this beautiful country and one of the many wonderful things to do in Canada. Located on Vancouver Island, the coast of Victoria offers a great opportunity to spot whales. Whale watching tours run all year in Victoria, but your best chance to spot some whales would be in the high season from May through October. Victoria has people travel from all over the world to attend whale watching tours in hopes of catching sight of an orca, humpback, grey and minke whales in their natural habitat. Not only will you have a high chance of seeing whales, but you also might be lucky enough to spot dolphins and other fish or sea mammals. There are endless tours going throughout the year, put on by many different tour and travel companies, so the choice is yours. 17. Attend the Great Northern Arts Festival in Inuvik. The Great Northern Music Festival is an annual art festival held over 10 days in Inuvik Northwest Territories. This festival has been running for over 30 years and was first developed to showcase the amazing art of the northern people. The festival showcases art in various forms including carvings, sewing, painting, dancing, singing and more. The festival is recognized as a celebration of life creativity, culture, and tradition. While attending the festival, you can meet the artists face to face, watch performances, spectate magnificent pieces of work, attend ceremonies, and learn new skills and information in many available workshops. Entry to the festival does not cost anything. However, donations are appreciated as it helps the Inuvik community. 18. Visit Niagara Falls. Niagara Falls is a must-see in Canada. Located in Niagara Falls, Ontario, on the Canada-US border, you can easily see all three falls that make up Niagara Falls, Horseshoe Falls, American Falls, and Bridal Veil Falls. The highest vertical point of the falls reaches 51 meters. The best part? It is free! Niagara Falls is not part of the Canadian National Park, so there is no fee to enter, and viewing the falls is free and easily accessible with lots of accommodation options, parking, and viewpoints. If you're looking to get a more immersive experience, there is a boat tour that brings you up close and personal with all three waterfalls. The ride is about 30 minutes and will cost you $35 for adults and $23 for children under 12. 19. Drive the Cabot Trail in Nova Scotia. 
The Cabot Trail in Nova Scotia weaves through 298 kilometers of the Cape Breton Highlands. The drive is stunning with the mountains meeting the Gulf of the St. Lawrence and along the way there are many different cliffs, viewpoints, beaches and long winding roads making the drive very picturesque. There are many stops along the way if you choose with towns and communities offering hiking, biking trails, camping, unique local shops and attractions. If you visit Cabot Trail in autumn, all the leaves will be changing color, making for an even more memorable drive. 20. Skate on the Rideau Canal in Ottawa Skating on the Rideau Canal is one of the most iconic things to do in Canada. The canal goes right through the middle of the city of Ottawa. Skating the canal is free and open to skaters 7 days a week, 24 hours a day. The skating area for the Rideau Canal stretches just under 8 kilometers. The skating area has universally accessible ramps and facilities, such as food, washrooms, and heated change rooms along the 8 kilometers. Non-skaters are also welcome to walk or shuffle alongside the skateway, at a safe distance away from the skaters. 21. Visit the home of Anne of Green Gables in PEI. Most of us know the story of Anne of Green Gables, but did you know you could visit her house in Prince Edward Island? After Lucy Maud Montgomery posted the story about Anne in 1908, it spread around the world, leaving many readers wondering if the setting actually existed. Today, millions of Anne fans have made their way to PEI to visit the house open to visitors. It costs around $7 for an adult to enter. We hope we inspired you to explore this beautiful country. Whether you are a resident of Canada or a soon-to-be visitor, all 13 of Canada's provinces and territories have something amazing to offer, and we only listed 21 of them. There are endless things to do in Canada, no matter if you are here for the daredevil experiences or the beautiful scenery. If you enjoyed this video or got something out of it, please like and subscribe. Happy traveling!